hello everyone and welcome again to our youtube channel my name is daniel and from the interview experience corner today and in this video i want us to share an interview experience of a family of five who went for their interviews on 27th of june 2024 and by bad luck, they were given a yellow paper because of uh, the suspicion of uh, positive uh, tuberculosis test as it was seen from the x-rays which was taken. And this was affecting the principal applicant. So they were told uh, that the principal applicant will be subjected to further uh, screening that is what you call as sputum culture test which they say it will take like uh, uh, four weeks before the test results will be out so that's why they were given a yellow paper so let's uh, jump in and see how the interview experience was for them on that day so they woke up at around uh, 4 30 in the morning they prepared and they started the journey around 5 20 to the embassy so they arrived at the embassy around 6 15 in the morning and their interview was scheduled at uh, 8 10 in the morning they found other people on the queue and uh, they waited until they were cleared to go in at the first security check where they looked at their two nls and the appointment letters before they were let in they, they moved to gate number two where there was a further a security check and they proceeded to uh, gate number three and where they waited for them to book, to be called in so they paid for the money for the interviews and uh, around uh, 8 30 in the morning the uh, token number was called to counter number seven for the interview and this is how the interview went consular officer please raise up your hands both of you and uh, swear that the information you'll be giving will be the right information so they did that consular officer are you david that's the principal applicant and he said yes consular officer who did you come with david said my family consular officer both of you uh you have been married for how many years then they both answered then the other question was what is your highest level of education that's the principal applicant he answered university degree number and then the consular officer proceeded what do you study the principal applicant answered consular officer are you working and then the principal applicant mentioned what is is he doing and where he's working consular officer what are you doing that is to the spouse of the principal applicant. The spouse answered. Then the principal, uh, the consular officer proceeded asking the question Have you ever been married before? Both of them answered, No. Consular officer, how many kids do you have? They both said, Three then uh, they proceeded with the interview again 
And then the consular asked another question, and that was like question number 10. Which state are you going to in the United States? They both answered. Then the consular officer proceeded. Who are you going to stay with? They mentioned the name where they are going to stay. Who is your host to you? They both answered. The host is our cousin. Consular officer, how long have you known your host? For more than five years. Then the consular officer asked, when, where did you first meet your host? They answered, and of course it is their cousin, and that is the time they answered that they normally meet at family gatherings or when this cousin of theirs comes home from the United States. Consular officer, have you read the pamphlet and understood it? They both say, yes, we have read and we have understood. So this, these pamphlets are the pamphlets that you are given after you have paid your uh, visa interview money. You will be given two pamphlets. One, talking about your rights as a DV winner and uh, an interviewee in that panel. And another pamphlet is about FGM, where they talk, they talk which talks about female, uh, something about mutation like that, and what is supposed to be done in case. So, the consular officer, have you read about the FGM policy? Then they said, yes, we have read about it. Then the consular officer proceeded. Have you ever been arrested? He asked the, she asked the principal applicant. No. Have you ever traveled to the United States of America? Both of them said no. Then the consular officer, have you ever applied for the visa? They both of them said no. Have you ever been refused a United visa before? They said no. Have you ever applied for the DV lottery? They both said yes. When did you apply? Both of them were extant because uh, they were not remembering exactly when they applied. Consular officer, have you ever won a DV lottery? So this time round, the consular officer turned to the spouse, that's the wife of the principal applicant. Have you ever applied for the DV lottery before? She said, yes. Then the consular officer proceeded. Uh, which year was that? And uh, the, 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 the wife said, I don't remember exact uh, because it was long before I was married. So the consular officer, were you selected? The wife said, no. Did you check? No. Then the consular officer proceeded. Why didn't you check? Me, that is the wife, say that I didn't know how to check. At this point is when I realized that she noted that I have ever been selected when I was single before I got married, but I had no idea. Then she reached out to a yellow paper and said, I cannot approve your visas now. Wait for your medical report. That is the sputum test on your husband, as who is the principal applicant. To be sent to us uh, by 26th July, and that's the time we may approve your visas. She remained with our passports as we walked away. Glory is the Almighty God, 
we will have to wait for four weeks for our visas to be approved. So in this case, this family answered so many questions and at the end of the day, they were given a yellow paper because of a, 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 a positive sign on the principal applicant in terms of tuberculosis and they were put on hold as they wait for the feedback from the medical facility and once they get a negative feedback from the sputum test then their visas will be approved and they will get a notification from the embassy over the same so guys thank you for watching this video keep on sharing and liking our videos bring more members on board and we value thank you see you in our next video we value you and we trust you bye bye bye